Hello and welcome back to Wireman's Whimsy. This is card three of four of the series using the Abundant Beauty Decorative Masks. Uh, because it's Thursday, I am doing throwback. I'm using the Merry Christmas from the Perfectly Plaid Retired Set, um, which is one of my favorite uh, style of Merry Christmas greetings. I'm also going to use the 3D embossing folder painted texture. Um, I've done this one, struck me as being a little plain, and you know what happens if Lorraine thinks it's a little plain? There's an embossing folder coming out. So what do I have? I've got a standard North American card base. I've got a three and three quarters by five piece of granny apple green, and I've got a three and a half by four and three quarters piece of basic white. Now, I'm sure you've all seen uh, videos and pictures on Instagram and that using this to make the sunflower. I thought I'd try and make it a poinsettia. Now, lots of iterations of this. We started here, I went here, came over here. Um, so this is basically the jumping off point for this one. I'm using Berry Burst and Granny Apple Green for this one. And uh, I will walk you through how I made it happen. I'm just going to move that out of the way for now. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp my greeting. Uh, for some reason, I had a lot of trouble lining this one up. So we're starting here. A second value, because as you can see on my sample, I stamped at first value and it was really dark against this. So we're going second value. So let's just stamp that away and we are going to line this up and stamp this down. There we go. I can stamp a straight line. So I'm going to leave that open, just put that off to the side. Now, what I've done is there are three sunflowers on this um, mask. I've used sticky notes to cover up two of them because I only want that one. So I'm just going to pop that down and you can see through the mask or through the mask where you're lined up. So I'm just going to put this down like this. Now this one, this layer, I want just a really light kind of covering and I want to make sure I don't get a harsh circle in the middle. On some of my iterations, I ended up with a really harsh edge. You can see the edge. So I'm making sure that when I'm coming in, I'm just, I'm not really pushing down near that middle piece. So this one, I want it to be a relatively light layer. So I'm just going to basically just very lightly add some ink. So it's very, very faint in the background. Just that little bit, making sure I've got all the petals covered off. So then you can see the middle is indistinct. That's fine. We'll get there. I'm going to take the stencil and I'm going to rotate it. Just turn it around so that a lot, I can see a lot of white space. And I'm going to come back in and I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm gonna kind of add just a little bit more color, a little bit more ink laying down on the, on the petals. So it is that little bit darker. Now I'm going to take my sticky note and I'm going to mask off the large flower and I'm going to place the small one right in the middle and this one I'm really going to ink up really going to ink a lot on this one I want the center to be much darker than the rest it's kind of like first value second value third value the first layer would be equivalent of third value the second second value and then the third layer kind of that third value so you really get that oomph of color. Now the stencil will have to be cleaned. I'm just going to put it off to the side for now. Uh, I'm going to close the ink pad. As you can tell from my hands, I have put my hand in the ink pad more times working on these videos than I have in the last week. I mean, we all know that I put my hand in the ink pad a lot, but not usually this much. I'm taking the smallest of the flower centers and I'm just popping that in the middle there. And I'm taking my blending brush and see if I go like that I get kind of I get the uh, imprint of the um, bristles and that's what I want I kind of want 
a stippled center. I don't want a smooth kind of center. I want that stippling because I want it to look like the center of the um, flower. So this is where we got to, and then I built up the card. So now let's see how this works with the embossing folder. I haven't done this yet. Um, so we're just going to run this through the embossing folder and see what happens. So you can, you can watch and learn with me here while I see what happens. So um, a lot of times I get asked, well, where do you come up with your ideas? All different places sometimes it's something I've seen sometimes it's something out of my head and the finished product that you see when I do the video usually comes from a lot of trial and error so oh that's nice maybe a little bit too much but sorry I meant to put these out the white piece in the middle is three and a half by four and three quarters and then the granny apple green is three and three quarters by five. So I'm going to just flat mount this onto the granny apple green, like that. And then I'm going to dimensionalize. I just realized that I am not in frame. I apologize if I've been out of frame. So I'm just going to, oh, I'm still out of frame. Sorry, everyone. It's going to add dimensionals to this one and just peel those backs off and put them off in the little container thing. But Angela Jones, who commented, thank you, Angela. Uh, she told me how she collects her pieces in um, just a little container off to the side. Okay, so I'm just gonna drop that down. And I still think it needs a little something something. So I am going to add the Blooming Pearls. There's some gold ones um, in the Blooming Pearls set that is in the new mini catalog. And I'm just going to pop some of these in like this. And I'm just going to do that. So there we go. That is our third card using the Abundant Beauty decorative masks. So I uh, turned the sunflower into a poinsettia for a Christmas card. Uh, let me know if you prefer it plain or with the embossing folder. And let's create together again soon.